Welcome back. It is coming up on 643 on Daybreak and many of the names of our streets and highways pay tribute to heroes from the past and that appears to be the case for a major highway in the North Towns or road in the North Towns that is. But you never know it from the monument that marks its part through the town of Tonawanda. Yeah, it's, it's right in front of the top story. You've probably seen it. A viewer recently emailed uh, that about that monument, you wouldn't know much by the monument because it sits in a spot where it's nearly impossible to read. But as we find out in this morning's unknown story of Western New York, you could call this the monument that never was. It's a major commercial artery running through Tonawanda and Amherst, loaded with both business and traffic. Sheridan Drive was made in the 1920s um, when there was a bunch of different um, highways of the time being built, things like Millersport, George Urban. Those were the highways at the time, and Sheridan was one too. And that's one of the reasons it's so wide as well. It went in before the 290 and the bigger highways that we travel today, but it wasn't the first Sheridan. The original Sheridan in Western New York um, Road was Sheridan Terrace, which was named by Frederick Law Olmsted in, um, when he designed Front Park. Designed by Olmsted, but named in honor of Civil War hero General Philip Sheridan. So it was a small road that now is still kind of there. It's an access road um, for one of the ramps to get to um, Niagara Street from the um, Peace Bridge. But there are conflicting stories about why the Tonawanda thoroughfare got its name. When they were building Sheridan Drive in the 1920s, they um, wanted to use that name um, because the name had kind of gotten big because there's also Sheridan um, in Chicago. Which is also named after General Sheridan. But either way, you may have noticed the obscure monument that sits in the median between Delaware Road and Delaware Avenue. Unless you have binoculars or risk your life running through traffic, it's nearly impossible to read the inscription or know what it's intended to honor. The reality is that it was supposed to be much bigger. It was supposed to have a larger-than-life statue of General Sheridan on horseback atop the base. Plans that were scrapped halfway through. So they had these plans, they started, they built the base of the monument, and then taxpayers said, why are we spending all of this money on rural highway through what was basically farmland. This is what that stretch of Sheridan looked like back then. You can see why the taxpayers thought that way, not to mention the fact that General Sheridan was not even a Western New Yorker. There's this big, you know, six lane highway coming through with this big monument. They didn't want to spend any more money. So they got the base and then they never were able um, to pay for the top because the taxpayers said no. But it was not totally an exercise in futility. That statue was ultimately cast and stands proudly today in Sheridan's proclaimed hometown with a place of tremendous honor. If you want to see the, what the statue was supposed to look like, you can go to Albany and visit the state capitol. Yeah, so that statue that sits in front of the state capitol was supposed to be on Sheridan Drive right at Delaware, between the Delawares. But right. Now I will actually pay attention to that monument there and then it's know that it's only partway finished. It's really funny. Yeah, and, and before you risk an accident or, or run, all it says is Sheridan Drive and it has the, the town board name. That, that's all that plaque says. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, anticlimactic. But by the way, Angela is actually an urban planner with Buffalo Place, and she has her own website called Discovering Buffalo One Street at a Time. Oh. Fascinating stories about the, a lot of the roadways and the and the streets and their history. And we're going to link her website to our website when I post the story on WGRZ.com. Sounds like you two have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. All right.